Agile Manifesto talks about individuals and interactions over processes and tools. And uh, I think I think that's that's a great inclusion. Agile is a social experiment. And over the period of time, what I have felt is that uh, these interactions have been addressed quite a lot. Uh, however, the I in the individual is still you know, remaining to be addressed properly. So that's where we are kind of today filling in the gap. And I would like to talk about the transformation in the light of an individual today. Yeah, so that is the setting the context here. So <coughs> I'd like to uh, begin by quote, to know is good, to live is better, and to be, that is perfect. So that's the opening punch. And we really want to be, and as uh, Diana mentioned today in, in her keynote, right? Fluency is something that you do without thinking. So it's kind of getting into the bones, not at the surface level, right? And uh, going further from here, so just to uh, expound upon what, what really can get into the bones. First of all, we have values, principles, and practices. Just kind of gloss over the kind of dictionary meaning. Values are something that is very important to an individual. <laughs> and to be able to, uh, uh, and when an individual acts or behaves, they really come out from the, uh, from the core, core heart or the inner part. So those are the values which kind of come ahead in the express in terms of behavior. Secondly, what are principles? Principles are kind of the glue which helps you translate the values into action. Yeah? And finally, you have the practice, which is the actual application of your values in your day-to-day -day action. Right? So just to uh, talk about examples. Yeah, so if we take a quick example, uh, you know, a lot of us practice unit testing as, as, a, as a practice. We use unit testing as a practice. Now, if we ask ourselves what is the value that we are actually after, it's really feedback, right? What we're trying to gain there is feedback, different kinds of feedback. That's one of the values that we want from unit testing. Uh, and the principle that we're trying to here meet is basically fail fast. We want to get faster feedback so we can fail. Right? So if you would try to take unit testing as a practice, what is the real value and the principle behind it is something like this. Let's take another example. Why do we write self-documenting code? We write self-documenting code so that we have declarative expression. Why do we care about declarative expression? We care about declarative expression because we want our code to be communicative, right? I mean, that's the reason we use a higher order language, else we would be writing code in zeros and ones, right? It's about declarative expression. Uh, it's about communication, uh, but you get it through 